Normally when a patient was gonna get a crown, this is what was gonna happen, okay? They were gonna go in and they would have the tooth prepared and we put it temporary or provisional on the tooth. Depending on how healthy the gums were, uh, we could get an impression that day, of course, with my laser. That's not such a big problem because uh, using my laser, we were able to deal with you know, the gums right then and there. So for me, because I'm a laser dentist, that wasn't such a big deal. However, they still would, you know, we still have to get an impression, then they would have to go to a dental laboratory and they have to wait for that. In the meantime, they were in this temporary, which may come off, and then if it came off, they'd have to come back and have it put back on. So, you know, this is multiple trips to the, to the dental office. And then we get the crown back from the uh, lab, and if all's well, we fit it, and hopefully it fits, and you know, we check it, and, and uh, most of the time it would fit. Sometimes it didn't fit. If it didn't fit well, well, we have to take another impression and then it goes back to the laboratory and then the patient has to wait again for the lab to make the crown. It comes back and then we do it again. And this is how it works. And that was the experience and I did that for many, many years and it worked fine. Cerec is totally different. Now what we do difference, we sit the patient down and we prepare the tooth like we normally would do. And again, we have to deal with the gums and we have the laser, so no problem there. But instead of taking an impression, we now scan the tooth into a computer. And on that computer, I will uh, digitally design a virtual crown for the patient, make it unique for them. And then we, after the crown is designed, we turn around and mill it right here in the office, okay? After milling it, this is a totally ceramic crown, so it looks just like a tooth. There's no metal involved, none of that, nothing to turn black, none of, none of that nonsense like the old crowns. It looks like a tooth, it's beautiful. Um, we then will fit it on the patient's tooth, and when we're all done fitting it, we turn around and we fire it so it gets nice and hard. And I'll tell you, a hammer won't break that thing. And uh, we, we bond them onto the tooth, and they look great. Uh, how many times do we have to remake these? Never. The point of the matter is, is that they always fit because basically I'm preparing the tooth and designing it all the same day. I, I'm not trying to translate uh, what I'm doing to another person, to a subcontractor to make this crown. And uh, we end up with this gorgeous crown that fits. We have a very happy patient who has only had to come here once. And they go out, they came in without a crown, they go out leaving with their beautiful crown and they are ecstatic. Any dentist who doesn't go back for continuing education is not doing themselves a service nor the patient. Fortunately, the technology in dentistry is just moving at a fantastic pace right now uh, in uh, regarding lasers, uh, one day uh, milled crowns, uh, when we look at implants, and you need to go back to school and learn. Without technology, I mean, I don't even know how you could practice today. When you look at what, how much computers are now integrated in what we do, I mean, this is where you have to move. I mean, you have to stay abreast of what's going on. Technology is key, and anyone who ignores it, again, is missing the boat. If someone would like to know more about Cirrus One Day Crowns, pick up the phone and give me a call and we'll get you in here for a complimentary consultation and teach you just how great uh, an experience it is to receive a syrup crown.